Kieran, many congratulations. World Championship debut, a victory at Alexandra Palace. Just try and sum up how you're feeling right now. Yeah, I'm just delighted, really. I, I, I came to here to win, obviously, but I didn't expect to win 3 0, so I can be honest, because Ross had a great year, so to win 3 0 is just unreal. 3 0 on yeah. debut, is that the things that dreams are made of? Yeah, absolutely. I just wanted to go up there and play well. The, the day's coming up, but I was kind of a bit nervous, but it, this morning I came in, I started practicing very good, so I was just relaxing as the day went on. I started fancying it then, coming up to the game, and after the first set, then as soon as I, I think if I got the first set under my belt against the Troy, I started really thinking I could win this now. What was it like driving up Muswell Hill, seeing Alexandra Palace sat on top of it, looking over London? What was that feeling like? Yeah, I've, like since I'm playing, I started playing there about eight years ago, and I always said I wanted to come to to even be a spectator, but to come up my first time ever at the Alley and actually playing is just it's unreal. I can't even describe it, to be honest. When you stood at the top of the walk on, were there nerves? Not really, to be honest, the nerves were kind of more at the start of the day. As the day went on, I actually kind of started relaxing even more. I, I kind of, as I said, I've not really to lose really because I've my tour card guaranteed now, so this is really a free shot, so hopefully I can score as far as I can. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. Was that very much pressure off for that reason, knowing that you weren't here competing yeah, for your tour card? A kind of, it is and it isn't. Like, I really want to. I want to make an impression and show how good I can be because I, I feel I can go really far in this tournament if I start playing my game. Like I, played, I did play very well there, but I can play even better, you know, so it's just a matter of doing it. Easier said than done. Leading up, obviously, to the world, you've had a good year on the Challenge Tour with victories, finals of the development tour. How's that preparation gone and helped you leading in towards your World Championship debut? Yeah, the, the prepara development tour standard has just gone through the roof at the moment. And the I only went to one Challenge Tour weekend, but I'm sorry I didn't go to more because that's even probably higher than the development, development tour, but um, I was lucky in the end, I only pipped uh, Shane McGuck by £50, which is, I ain't good buddies with Shane McGuck, but the way it goes, I suppose, you know, so every game, every game counts when you look back at the season, you know, every game that's worth £50 makes a big difference at the end of the rankings. Again, TV experience, went to the quarterfinals of the Masters, did that help you as well? Yeah, I think the TV experience definitely did, but um, this is completely different to the World Masters, even the occasion and the crowds, it, but it, I actually, I actually prefer a bit of noise, to be honest, and the silence in the World Masters is kind of different. You can even hear the darts going into the board and everything, is, but I, I actually prefer this, the crowds and everything. Mervyn King, up next, do you think playing a seed is obviously difficult, but having played once up there already, do you think that will settle you down when you play Merv? Oh yeah, definitely. Well, as I said, I'm not really to lose at the start, but I definitely don't have anything to lose now, so if I can be King, it'll be just even, even better than today, so hopefully I'll be going to win anyway again. A few days, good practice, and went. Hopefully do again. You said you're not here to make the numbers up. Do you believe you have the game if everything goes well that you can win this tournament? I can go far anyway, I think definitely. I, so I'm going to just take it game by game, the same as if I was at a development tour, just yeah, each game at a time. I think I can go really far deep, like if I start playing my top game. It's just a matter of doing it as I said on the stage, you know. Pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Uh, just one from me, if that's all right. Uh, just a word <coughs> on the development tour, because I think that the standard there has been improved dramatically over the last three years and it's really proof from the pudding that you've come here and won a game on the, the Ali Pali stage. Yeah, the development tour is just brilliant. The, you can even see that it's worked. I, like, I hope they don't change the um, the rules or anything because you can tell that the, everything that's going through is working because the players are coming off it are just going on through brilliant things. Luke Humphreys last year, he got to the semi-final here at Premier League, so just hopefully they keep it as it is because I think it's definitely working the way they run it. And how much is it going to be a lifestyle change next year when you're sort of full time on, on the pro tour as well? Yeah, it's probably going to be a bit of a shell shock. I don't really, I don't think I even realise yet it's all the travelling and going to be away every weekend. But I just have to get used to it really. Yeah, but it's the dream job. It's what I wanted for the last four or five years, so I'm just delighted to have it now. Thank you very much.